All right, hope you are enjoying your Friday evening and temperatures are plummeting very quickly. Mostly moony out over the FM area right now. The Valley Sky Cam capturing that view off to the east across the river into Minnesota. And those clear skies, the very dry air over the valley, rapidly cooling. Right now it's 30 degrees at Hector. We have 32 in Moorhead, that wind calm as well. One of the tools we use in meteorology, that dew point temperature, tells us about how far the temperatures uh, can cool before the air becomes saturated. Right now, it's all the way in the mid-20s in Grand Forks. Mighty chilly out there, feeling like hockey season. 28 for Devil's Lake. And looking off to the east, we have a few 30s out there with some clouds lingering across north-central Minnesota and Roseau County. It is 34 in Roseau. The cool spot is Grand Forks at 25, but Cooperstown, you're not far from that at 27. Looking up towards uh, War Road, we have 32 degrees. Thief River Falls, 29, and Faustin at 27. Here's a look at the radar. Some snow north of the Arrowhead, but that, that's okay. We did get reports in the late afternoon of some Thief River Falls funny things falling from the sky, as well as near the Walker area. A few flakes of snow reported. All right, here's your hour-by-hour -hour forecast as we head to bed tonight. The 20s become more widespread. So uh, when temperatures stay below freezing for three hours or more, that's called a hard freeze or a killing frost. So that's what's going to be taking place across much of the northern valley and even portions of the southern valley going through the overnight. Towards morning, more clouds build in and some rain pushes in. A few areas could see some flakes mixing in with this. Now, this is at 730 in the morning. So if you're tailgating, man, I mean, 29 degrees and winds upwards of 20 miles per hour, it's going to be on the crisp side outside. Now, that rain shower activity spreads north and east. As we go towards midday, we'll have a chance along the I-94 corridor and point south. While it stays dry up north, nobody very warm in the wind still at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Then, a chance for some evening sprinkles here and there up north with the more focused shower activity down to the south. And as far as rainfall amounts, a tenth maybe maybe upwards of two tenths in a few locations and that'll be about all she wrote because by the evening hours it'll be a uh, exiting off to the stage right over there <sighs> tomorrow thanks to the cloud cover lingering around it won't get quite as cold into your sunday morning freeze warning for the entire area out there make sure again you disconnect those hoses from the house 46 tomorrow afternoon in langdon and valley city 46 wapaton how about 46 as well for detroit lakes and grand forks at 49. Here's a beautiful fall shot of this lonely tree in Mantador. Jane capturing that blue sky in between a few high clouds out there as well. Here's a look at your forecast on Sunday. We start out at 38, going up only to 49, though. Spotty sprinkles, not a very good chance of rain to close out your weekend. Now, our chances of rain continue Monday and Tuesday, but they're small as we warm up to near 60 degrees. Yay! And then on Wednesday, a good chance of some soaking showers of rain. And after that, it's back into uh, coolness. Why didn't you well, say put 60 up there? Yeah. Uh, well, you said it. Uh, you're afraid? Near, near 60. Isn't that good enough for you? Am I afraid? <laughs> no. It's because a better chance of being in the 50s. <laughs> okay. than 60. All right. All right. All right. Thank